Welcome back to part 2 of Geography Chapter 1 Resources and Development. In this video, we will cover soil and various types of soil found in India. Stay alert during the video as I will give some practice questions in between the video. So let's start. So now let us understand soil. So soil is a very important resource. It is the medium of plant growth and it also supports various living organisms. Now let us see the factors affecting soil formation. So as you know that soil is formed by weathering of rocks. So it takes millions of years to form. And various factors such as parent rock, climate, vegetation, living organisms such as microbes and time play an important role in formation of soil. So based on variation in these factors, there are different types of soils. So if uh, one type of soil, a certain substance, is, a certain mineral is present in more quantity, then it will be different from the other kind of soils. So on this basis, we have a lot of different kinds of soils. Let us study them. So in India, there are six kinds of soils. That is alluvial soil, black soil, red and yellow soils, Laterite soils, arid soils, and forest soils. First, alluvial soil. So, alluvial soil is the most widely spread soil in India and it covers the entire northern plains and it also extends into Gujarat and Rajasthan th through a narrow corridor and it is also present in the deltas of the peninsular rivers, which are uh, Mahanadi, Krishna, Godavari, Kaveri, etc. Composition. So it is composed of various proportions of sand, silt and clay. So it contains both all the three sand, silt and clay in various proportions. Third, types. So it is of two types, Bhangar and Khadar. Bhangar is the old alluvial soil and Khadar is the new alluvial soil. Bhangar has very coarse particles and it also has some conker nodules due to which it is less fertile. But Khadar has very fine particles and is more fertile than Bhandar. But on the whole, alluvial soil has various nutrients such as potash, phosphoric acid and lime which make it very fertile. And various crops such as sugarcane, paddy, wheat, other pulses and cereal crops also grow in alluvial soil. So that's why the region in which alluvial soil is present is very densely populated. Second, black soil. So black soil is found in the region of Northwest Jacan Plateau. So this region includes the state of Maharashtra, Saurashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, etc. Now black soil is composed entirely of clay soil. Now as you know that clay soil has very fine particles and it has a very good water holding capacity. So black soil on a whole has very high water retention capacity and due to which it is very sticky during the rainy season and it is very hard to work upon. But on the whole black soil is also fertile and it contains various nutrients such as calcium carbonate, magnesium, potash, lime. Uh, but it is uh, weak in, for, for, deficient in phosphoric nutrients. And during summer season, it develops cracks which help in aeration of the soil. Black soil is the best for the growth of cotton crop. So due to this reason, uh, black soil is also known as ragged soil or black cotton soil. Third, red and yellow soils. So as the name suggests, these soils are red and yellow in color. They are found in the less rainfall areas such as Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Ganga Plain, the middle part of Ganga Plain and parts of Western Ghats. And red soils are formed due to the diffusion of iron in the igneous and metamorphic rocks. Fourth, laterite soil. So laterite soil is formed as a result of intense leaching due to heavy rain. And so it is present in the regions of heavy rainfall such as Maharashtra, Odisha, West Bengal, some parts of West Bengal and the Northeast region. But this soil is not fertile and it is very acidic and deficient in the important plant nutrients. Still, after proper treatment, it can be used 
for uh, growing crops such as tea and coffee in hilly areas of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu and red laterite soil which is a type of laterite soil uh, in it cashew nut grows in the states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala. Fifth, arid soils. So these soils are found in the region of western Rajasthan. And in as you know that in Rajasthan there are sand dunes. So uh, the, uh, the composition of this soil is very sandy. And also a large amount of so uh, salt is present in this soil. And it is very highly saline. Now due to the high rate of evaporation of water from this soil, it lacks humus and moisture. And it can be cultivated only after proper irrigation. It ranges in, it comes in various colors such as red and brown. And the conquer layer is also present in the soil in the lower horizons. Sixth, forest soils. So these soils are present in the hills and mountain mountains re region with sufficient rainforests. And the nature of these soils varies according to the environment. In the valleys, river valleys, it is very loamy and silty and it is suitable for agriculture. But in the upper slopes of the mountains, which means that as we go higher, it becomes coarse grained. As in the upper courses, a lot of rocks are present. And if we go even higher to the snow covered regions, then in such regions, the, the soil is highly eroded and it is very acidic and has low humus content. Now, let's practice few questions based on whatever we have learned till now. So now we have come to the last topic of this chapter that is soil erosion. So soil erosion is the removal of the fertile top layer of soil. Causes of soil erosion. So soil erosion can be caused due to human activities such as deforestation, overgrazing and mining. And also due to some natural forces such as water, wind and glaciers. Now let us see how this is done. So now let us discuss the types of soil erosion. First is gully erosion. So in this the water cuts through the soil and makes very deep channels known as gullies. Second sheet erosion. So in this an entire layer of top soil is washed away by the water. So you can refer to the pictures uh, to, to see the difference between gully and sheet erosion. Third, wind erosion. So in this, the wind blows the top, uh, la top layer of soil. So this usually happens in the de desert areas. Fourth, defective farming methods. So some defective farming methods such as plowing in the wrong way, it, that can also lead to uh, formation of gullies and it can lead to soil erosion. So now let us see the solutions to this problem of soil erosion. First is contour plowing. So in this, plowing is done in a spe specific way along co contours and contours are furrows. Second, terrace farming. So in this, steps can be uh, steps are cut out on the slopes to slow down the f water flow. So if uh, uh, water flows down one step, then it deposits the soil that it has collected from that earlier step to the second step. Third, strip cropping. So in large fields, strips of grass are grown between the crops to hold the soil together. So here, if we have one row of crops and here we have second row of crops, so in between them, we will grow a row of grass and this will uh, hold the soil together and pre prevent the soil from er eroding. Fourth, shelter beds. So the, uh, rows of trees are planted to, uh, to slow down the wind speed. Now let's practice few questions. So this is all for today. In the next chapter of this NCRT at your fingertip series, I will cover economics chapter 1 development. So subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get the notification whenever I upload it. Thank you.